Good Monday morning, YouTube. It is February the 15th, and we're in my truck, and you can see we're frozen. This doesn't happen often here in Louisiana. And uh, the no heat calls have rolled in. The first one this morning is gonna be on a gas furnace. Uh, I think it's like I think it's like 26 outside uh, with a wind chill of 14 they said I know a lot of you guys that's nothing to us that's very very cold so uh, the first one we're gonna go see about is a gas furnace not heating and then the second one is a heat pump um, now he called me he's like my heat's not heating and he told me he had a heat pump and I said well go to emergency heat and he said he already did that and he said he could smell the heat he said he could smell the heat strips coming on, but it's it's still not warming up. He said it's like they went back off. So we're gonna go check that too. And we'll see if we can get you guys some film. All right, I wanted to get a couple shots. Uh, you can see everything is dead. There's uh, T-Mobile, State Farm. There's the Walmart back there. This is what happens when we get snow in Louisiana. Everybody panics. I mean, not me, it don't bother me. And there's a couple of people out on the road. Now I am driving slow because I'm not used to this. Um, and I know you Northern guys that are watching these videos are probably laughing at me, but, and that's okay, you know, we laugh at y'all when, when y'all go outside and, uh, you know, and say, oh man, it's 75 degrees, it's so hot, you know, and we laugh at y'all because that's not hot. <laughs> But, you know, and then y'all laugh at us because we think this is cold and this is a big deal. So, uh, you know, just two different cultures, uh, you know. But anyway, yeah, they panicked down here and they shut everything down. Anyway, we're slowly but surely making our way to the first service call. All right, so the first thing is the door switch is broken. Or it broke when I pulled the back panel off, so I'm going to have to temporarily wire those in hot and uh, we got a smart valve it's an ICP furnace and then see what's gonna happen okay so I don't have a wire nut in my pocket but I will go get one I'm gonna put a jumper between uh, R and W and we'll see what happens uh, I'm not using my cell phone. I'm using my actual filming camera. And I hope you guys can see what I'm doing. Producer has came on. I wonder if that pressure switch is making. Okay, so we had a helicopter, but he went down to talk to his wife. This is a 27, 28 year old ICP furnace with a smart valve. We're gonna change it out. Somebody changed the coil, it's an ICP. They did that in 2016. And the outdoor unit is a 07, it's a Linux. So they've been changing it piece by piece. 
not my customer, the previous customer.